next eukaryotic protein expression now let us talk about the second type of vector it is called a bacteriophage vector and when you talk about the bacteriophage vector usually you're talking about the lambda vector or lambda phase vector now lambda phase vector is utilized now this is the structure of the lambda phase vector this is actually uh, the normal lambda phase uh, genome now the lambda phase genome is having all these things what they are having it is approximately 49 kb in length but only 30 kb of it for example this is the 49 kb in length length totally okay but among this 49 kb this 30 kb region is of actual interest and this 30 kb region is actually needed for the lighty growth of the lambda phage now what we know about lambda phage you must know the basics of lambda phage before uh, learning that the lambda phage uh, replication strategy are of two different type one is that it can replicate by the lytic phase or it can replicate via the lysogenic phase lysogenic phase means this genome of lambda is integrated with the bacterial genome and stay dormant for several generations and lytic phase means this lambda phage will hijack the machinery of replication inside the bacteria and it will burst the bacterial cell open and it will release small lam lambda phage outside okay but what we require in this case we require this lytic phase to be activated but not the lysogeny phase so if we delete the segment which are responsible for the lysogeny it won't harm us because it won't hamper the purpose we need to fulfill so what we do, we just take only 30 kb which is required for the lytic cycle and rest of the part is getting cleaved out. So we get a modified lambda and this modified lambda phage is utilized as a bacteriophage lambda as a vector for cloning. And it can clone up to 78 to 100% of the efficiency because it is very very efficient to infect the bacterial cells. Now you can see by cutting those a uh, region of 19 kb extra junk element which was responsible for the lysogenic what we get is a modified lambda phage it it is also having the origin of replication so first criteria second criteria selectable markers must be there there are somewhere and also a multiple cloning site uh, must be added here so we need to have add selectable markers so we must have selectable markers as well as we need to have multiple cloning site and also in this case we are having another important thing we are having this cos sites this is a very important part this cos sites is an integrated part of bacteriophage lambda it's the normal and natural part of bacteriophage lambda why because during the synthesis of new dna or the genome of bacteriophage lam lambda what it does it will make start linearizing and start making linearizing segment of its gene for example say so let me change the color for example say from this segment of its part and this segment is the total genome of the lambda but it won't stop the replication it's it it continue it continually synthesizing the dna on and on to make a long chain uh, of repeated sequence of its own genome it is called the concatemer now this concatemer segments that that means it is having multiple uh, genomic sequences and at the each uh, terminal site of this genome sequence there is a site called cos sites now these red colored uh, vertical lines here are the cos sites so they are having this cos site whole uh, throughout this concatemers now during the packaging when they are having this this head uh, the protein protein head of this lambda phage during the packaging uh, this cleavage of this genetic segment is done from one cos site to another cos site and this segment only packaged so at the end what will be packaged here inside this uh, phase head is only the dna uh, from one cos site to another cos site okay and then again for the next head it will be packaging from this cos site so this is one genome the second genome third genome and so on right so it will be packaged sequentially so that's why the, this is the importance of the cos site to be present so as the cos site is present so it will start making this long chain of concatemer then it will start packaging uh, the gene of interest inside the bacteriophage head okay and we can insert large piece of dna approximately 20 kb of a dna we can insert easily inside this phage vectors right now there are two different types of phase vector that we can utilize or we can use one is the insertion vector another one is called the replacement vector now in insertion vector what is the actual thing there is a segment called this c1 which is an integral part of uh, this lambda phase which is also playing vital role during control of lytic and lysogenic cycle now what we do in this case 
if this C1 is having eco R1 restriction site lies between itself, so we can treat this site utilizing eco R1. So eco R1 can cleave it from here. So it can separate these two parts or it can divide this chromosome into two different parts so that we can insert, we can make our insert and attach our insert at this particular location and can make our recombinant DNA molecule. So that's why it is called the insertion vectors because our gene of interest is inserted in this position. Another type is also called replacement type where we are having uh, uh, different genomic segment present which is not required inside the phage vector for its lytic cycle. So what we do, we substitute this particular gene segment with our gene of interest. So that's why we call it a replacement vector because we are replacing the existing gene which is called the stuffer fragment or stuffer sequence. We discard the stuffer sequence by cleaving it out from this segment and instead of the position of the stuffer sequence we add our gene of interest and now previously where there is a stuffer sequence now is, there is our genome. Okay, and that's we can make the recombinant DNA molecule. Now we are substituting it so that's why replacing the stuffer with our gene that's why we call it the replacement vector. Now let's say the third type of cloning vector which are called the cosmids. Now cosmids are modifications, remember the previous two uh, are natural, plasmid is totally natural and also the lambda phage is natural but again though they are natural but they must be modified and we have seen the, their modifications that in plasmids also we need to prepare the multiple cloning side and uh, different selectable marker regions and also in this uh, phage vector in this lambda phage also we need to uh, cleave those junk material of the DNA out and we, we must add this uh, MCS and also selectable marker regions there. So we must have engineer what uh, this kind of cloning vector since in, in according to our need. So we must have engineered all these things.